Welcome in a second video about reverse engineering. Before we are going to use the tools, I want to explain a little bit about the tools. So below you see the tools JEDEX, APK tool and APK lab. All those tools have kind of similar functionalities related to decoding or decompiling a package. So there is a small difference. Decoding is that you decode it and make it readable. So what we saw in the previous video is that the Android manifest file was not readable if you just extract it from the zip file. So we need to decode it to make it readable. Also the classes, the DEX files also needed to be decoded to a different format called SMALI, but I will not go into too much details about this now. And also the resources like images also need to be decoded before you can read them. And then there is decompile. And in this case, decompiling is from DEX format to Java format. So in this picture you see you have an package an apk and then you have the dex file the classes.dex for example which is optimized code which is interpretable by the java dalvik vm so if we start all the way to the left as a developer you develop your code in kotlin or java then you use a compiler the java compiler or the kotlin compiler to create java bytecode so eventually for decompiling we want to decompile the class file the dex file back to readable Java code. So that's in short about the process. And now I'm just want to demonstrate a few of the tools which you can use and which are very helpful for you to use in the labs as well. So JEDEX, you see a screenshot, which is a tool where you can just open the APK file and then you can already read the Java code and even edit it. APK tool is the most used tool to just decompile the files and APK lab also uses JEDEX and is a plugin for Visual Studio Code, for example. And if you do have native libraries in the libs folder, which are shared objects, .so files, then you might need different reverse engineering tools like Ghidra, but for now, we're going to focus on the Java code, not on the native libraries. So let's start first with APK tool. So we can go to aptool.org and then to the docs and then the basics are decoding and building. So basically decompile and compiling or recompiling it again. So if you want to decode and package, then you can just use apk tool D and then the name of the APK file. So let's try this. So let's try this with the application we just pulled from the device so this was the guess me lab so we already unzipped it and saw the results but now now we want to do apk tool d base dot apk then you can see all the steps and by default it extracts it to the directory with the same name as the packets so base this is or this is the decoded and decompiled code so now you can see the android manifest is readable we see some web view ex activity exported true for example so this is the manifest file which is readable now and also we have this smiley directories which contains smiley files which is an intermediate format before java so this is also kind of readable still and those smiley files you can also edit and then you can build it again with apk tool so in this case we have application directories of our, our custom code which is in Smiley classes 3, com mobile hacking lab, guess me. And then we have this main activity, which is the default if you're building an app. And for example, this web view activity .smiley. And what you can see, for example, you could edit those constant strings like HTTPS, MHL. So it is readable, you can edit it. And there is a lot more information available about how to edit Smiley files. But for this training, we would like to not focus on this, so hope to see you in the next video.